I have one messy cut of back again with another asset store review. This time we're in deep space with Il Ranch. This is the Unity deep space pack from Il Ranch that I picked up on the sale on the Unity asset store. It's a fun little pack. We're going to have a good time mucking about with these modular pieces to see what we can create, what you can get up to. And if you're wanting to make anything fun on the desktop, I think this would work. But also, we're making fun games on mobile. If you need help making mobile games, well, you're in luck because Unity has got a free ebook out that's there to help you. I'm going to put a link down below in the description for this shameless plug to this Unity free ebook using my affiliate code. Uh, click on that link and fill in the form, sends a bit of love my way and is greatly appreciated. Needless to say, I'm only really promoting things that I like to use myself, and this ebook has really helped me get started making optimized games for Unity. And I always feel that Unity is the engine of choice for making great mobile games. It's a shame though they could have made a better title. Six solutions to future proof your mobile game optimization and operation. Bit of a mouthful, but download, put in your details, and you won't regret it. That I can guarantee, because it's free. But for now, let's play about with Deep Space from Il Ranch. And if you do like these videos, don't forget to click on that nice little juicy like button and subscribe. Sit back and join. I'll see you all in a second. Here we are inside Unity playing about with Il Ranch's Deep Space Pack. If I pop into the prefab folder, we can see we've got, a, oh, I'm going to say, a modest number of prefabs for props. Really, not that much, to be fair. And if we go over into the control, room constructs, we'll see there that it's not a massive variation we've got in this pack. And if I go here to the, uh, the way construct, I don't know why it's got these names. So we've got the little pieces to just flesh out a scene but the main little headache I've got is the walls and that's because there's not that much different I mean the difference between these two prefabs is just this little bit at the top here right up here as well and these walls pretty much the same wall it's just the little LED screens laid out in a different way and a couple of different panels put on here or there so not a huge variation I like this this is nice I like, I like this bit yeah, 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 it's nice with a little cloth padded. Be on this to stop people squishing into them when they're floating about in space. And other than that, yeah, yeah well, I won't really say it's it's too big, to be fair. And its full price is nineteen ninety nine. Squeaky chair time. I was to put in some WD forty on the chair, but I was worried about getting it on the carpet. To be honest, um, I've also put in the Steam City pack that I want to play about because I got that one on the sale as well. But we do, we'll save that one for another video. Let's have a look at the mesh. So if we pop over to here, I'll show you this is like 25,000 verts. Oh, if we go over to something like this one here, you can see we've got a humble 180. So some bits are really big, and some bits are a little bit more sensible. But it's, it's, oh, it's 25,000? 25,000 25, is a big number. To be fair, it is a big number. And it, the other little thing that we've come to know about Il Ranch is that you're always really needing to get yourself the post-processing profile on there, without which things just don't really look the same. Let's click play and I'll show you what I mean. We're going big in here. I'm gonna stick the um let's put our stats on so you can see good good FPS counts already because of the FPS count. I like it better than some of the other packs that we see out there. Manufacture K4 does some really beautiful stuff, but his demo scenes you get some appalling FPS. If you put them in your own projects, your own scenes, then you can actually tweak them to make get some good performance out of them. But this one, this demo scene in itself, it's not huge. You know, we're not getting a crazy amount of FPS as well. But look at the color, look at the lighting, these effects we've got here. It doesn't look very beautiful. The doors look great. I love this doorways. Let me push this little button here. Beep. And it's closing. Got the animations on there. Beautiful looking doors. I like that a lot. I love that the screens have got some animations going on, and I like the flickering lights as well. You know me, I hate it when the screen is just bland and static, and it's a good resolution as well. It says that there's 2K textures, so not all over the place, some of these textures are not looking that great when you look right at the top, especially if you turn the post-processing off. I'll show you what I mean. Let's do that. Beep. 
turn that off but otherwise they look good they do the job it's just a shame it's just a shame that you need the post processing on to get anywhere near the look that you do in the images and the demos so look if a door's closed see how this door now it's not so exciting it's not so sexy is it and the colors aren't so brilliant but the, still the models and uh, these scratches and stuff around the side I really do like so if we put the post processing back on and I go and click on this little profile here he is you see here if I just turn off the color grading We've got a good little mixed here, so at least, you know, we've got the effects going on and the colour grading. It's turned off, so it could map nicely with some other models. But you really need to have this type of level of post-processing going on at all to make this scene shine and stand out. It's a shame, it really is. It's such a beautiful looking pack of models. It's just, I would like the textures. Maybe we need to put some substance textures in this and just make it really, boom, explode with life and love. Let's open this door. Wow, it's lovely little animation there. We go inside here and we play it out. So as I say, 1999 full price. To be honest, I wouldn't pay full price for this and I didn't pay full price. I got it on the sale and I'm really happy that I did. If you can get yourself a copy of this in a sale, I think you would be very surprised and you know, excited about what you could do with this pack. All these, you, wouldn't see, you don't really notice that it's the same thing over and over again. It does a good job. I'm chuffed. But there you go. It depends entirely on what you're looking for and how much you're willing to spend. If I was going to rate this on a 19.99 price tag, I would say this is a 3 out of 5 asset. If I was going to rate this on the fiver that I paid for it at the time, then I was going to give this a four for, for value for money. Because it really is a great value for money at the bargain price that I paid. So say, look down here, you've got a big pack. It's a big scene with such a small number of models and props. It really does let you to just create, create a deep space kind of little space station to be honest it's exactly what it is can I can I open this let's do that cool is it a proper elevator does that work oh it's just teleported me oh okay it's a little bit of a cheat there cheeky little budget just he's just cheated so let's um boop. okay what's going on oh dear bit jerky I'll do that yourself really to be honest when you use that one in your game, people might be a little bit confused. But they oh, very pretty. Well, if we can just get one of the kids in, let's see what I think about it. And again, look, we've got a stairs. We've got little, what what are these? Trash cans? I don't know. I think they're canisters of some description. Probably got some kind of radioactive material in there. Or maybe it's just full of poop. You never know. Now, it's a, not a massive pack, so there's not much we can do. There's not much we can run around and play about with it, to be honest. It's not the biggest pack in the world. But it's a lot of fun. Get it on the sale when you can. You won't be disappointed. But for now, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button. Don't forget to click like. Put a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Let's see what you... What would you make with this pack? you got some animations. you got some doors. you got a lift. So you can't really complain too much if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time